Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Trini Out and About with your truly trouble, aka Mr. Nokapot, wifey the background, Choo Choo here, everybody and mama, except lady, of course, Ninja Man and Cry Man, that's the other movie, right? The only menu, guys, we do it, Kip Tree. Dal, Kip Tree, we call a split piece cooker price or dal cooker price, right, guys? This is amazing. Cook up rice, you can eat it, you can have it anything. You can have it like well, this menu we're doing is a full vegan menu. We're doing the kitchen, the split peas, cook up rice, split peas, cook up rice with some tomato choker. We have some kuchela, we have some light pepper sauce. We're not making up coconut chutney today, right? So, you can have this rice also with like any meat of your choice curry, curry chicken, curry goat, whatever. You can have it with um, baji as well, dashi bush baji. Spinach and you can eat it with rice, a nice cook of rice. It's especially something nice to go with dal. Right? So we're going to get to this menu now, but I have it here already. Right? So this is it. Check this out, guys. Get three or split piece cook of rice, some tomato. Add in some cochilla to this. Get more, more water in. Some mango cochilla. Get really Just line the pasta sauce, right? Full line the pasta sauce. Ready everything. The mango choker here, right here. Right, so I'm going to eat this now. Right. So stay tuned for the full recipe, start to finish. You can watch it right. Trini out and about. Make bucket garlic cheese stick. Watch me. It's real trouble here right now. You know. I don't know what you're causing in this house here. Them children and them high only making, making. But here this is really trouble. Knock a pot. Garlic in the oil. No line, no mama guy. Yes, trouble. You see that samal here? So we try your pizza recipe here this evening. It came out real nice with pizza crust. We have all the finished one here. No line, no mama guy. On point. Keep up the good work. Send in love to you guys from our family to yours. Hey guys, we back here now, cooking time. Recipe time for the kit tree. From start to finish with everything, right guys? So, you saw that kit tree look before? It look amazing, really amazing guys. Top of the line, chat up, mutt up. No line, no mama guy. Real top of the line. So, I know a lot of you may have a different, different method and technique to cook the kit tree, but this is how our house cook the kit tree, how our family cook the kit tree, right? So we're gonna show you everything from start to finish with it, step by step. You know we just do it, right? Um, so let me show you here now. Um, I'm gonna do a different style of tomato choker for you all. Um, you know normally with the roast tomato, we showed you the roast tomato choker the other day. I'll show you next way. So a lot of people who live abroad, um, you know they can't roast the tomato in the house. So they say you know like how the house can like it can seal and these things. So we share a different, a different method to do the tomato choker. 
right so we're gonna share that now right guys so here now we have some water boiling for the dal and this water for tomatoes guys so yes you can boil tomatoes you can boil tomatoes you don't have to roast it all the time you could boil it right guys so all i boil it no salt anything let's add any tomatoes in some water some boiling water here so the pot a little small the pot a half so we we'll already use this soup the soup right so we just boil in this tomato here let's start a boil and guys i this i just make tomato choka look like this boiling right by boiling tomato um you think when the tomato boil that's what i love about it it has remain it has been full of juice um i don't know if the water does you know the water from what i would go in there but it will be juicy it will be it don't be like it don't be, it don't it don't draw to the outside it'll be juicy and nice. so we'll show you that right we have the dal here we have some there's some onions and pimento and a cut of a pepper for tomato choker this is for the kitchen tree right so i had all i had soaked this soak in probably about um i went down and i came back up i just soaked before so probably about 40 minutes of soaking in baking powder right so I'm not washing out the baking powder. We are in it just like this. So guys, this, the process, the first process we're doing here is, is exactly like that we are cooking it. Oops. Hmm. Right, we're boiling it exactly like that. Um, boiling dal does the same way, mincing it the same way, all these things, right? So. The only thing I wouldn't add as everything as I'd add any dal before. But I would add some saffron, some salt, garlic, pepper, all these things. I wouldn't add the shadow any. I wouldn't add the um like a little maggi. I wouldn't add I, I would not put the um the jira, the grind jira oil spray in it. Right? So I will show you how this do with the dal. Right guys? So um you only when you boil any dal, you boil it with a little a little extra saffron. Because you want that to, that will help the rice the color, the yellow nice color, right? So you'll show you, you'll show you everything as you go by, right? So as this boiling here now, I'm gonna organize my ingredients to throw in here, and we'll come back when we show you the ingredients. Alright, guys, we here. We didn't throw anything as yet. We just taking out all the impurities from the dal first, and then we will start to throw in the ingredients. The tomato still boiling. I throw a little bit of water. The tomatoes just now, right? That's to cover the tomato properly. So this dal shouldn't take long to boil because we had it soaking in some baking powder before. That will help the process a lot in cooking, in the cooking time. Right, so we'll add in here now some salt. The stove, I flow in the stove, you know, guys, because you know what happened there. Why, if you go put meat to clean the stove now, so why, if you organize any kids on them, Keep, I'll just keep taking all the fruit from it until all the fruit is um, it stop bubbling and it stop fruiting, and then I will add the ingredients. Hi right, guys, we back here. Everything come up from the dollar already. All the um, impurity, right? I will be here. No more add this salt already, right? So no more add three pimento. Add three red pimento. I like the red look because. When it means the dal, you see that kind of red, that red effect, right? One teaspoon of saffron, two teaspoon of saffron, right? I put the two teaspoon of saffron because the white a little more of the color. One full teaspoon of garlic, two full teaspoon of garlic. 
like they want the dollar more yellow color looking because they want that to but this it work like the like just like a pillow here stew in the pillow right they want the extra sugar to brown the rice properly so that's what we're doing here watch the tomatoes looking out here the tomatoes are real nice now I wash the tomato bowl soup. Mm. Tomato is so far nice. So this guys, really soft, juicy, right? So this is the next method to do tomatoes, right? So this is just for a few minutes again to boil, right? Um, we let the ball boil and we mince it down and we'll show you the next process. Hi right, guys, so we're here back again and we're going to take all the tomatoes now. Right. This is the next nice way. The next nice way to do tomato chop, alright guys. I don't want to use our tongs because um the bottle is real soft. I don't want to squeeze it on it. So I'll leave the to boil a little bit. This is a kind of get a little younger the tomato, like a younger tomatoes. So you have four for eight, nine, ten, eleven tomatoes we're using. Any medium size, right? You see this is dark looking a little extra yellow. Right? It's because of the as I see for the color, they get the color, they got a nice color, they get you right, right? So let's leave this out of five minutes to boil again. Right, and we'll take all this and try right, to so using a hand blender and we're going on blend it all. Right? Mm. If you don't have this and you have normal scissors stick, you can use it. I find that scissors stick is too much for guys. We need pepper and sauce. We need pepper a little bit now. If you want to leave it all green, you can leave it all green if you want. If you like the little greens that are running in it, okay, they don't fine. So it's not all that watery, right? But you want it because I'll still have to add water to it anyhow. So if you have it all water in the pot, it's okay. But you still have to add the water in the pot to the rice, right? Right, so that's it. We'll be back when you're going to pop the pot. Right, we're going on to see what the ketri rice now. The ketri. Then we go do the tomato choker. So add in some oil. The onion, pimento, or half a tomato, some green, green season and garlic, right? Right? 
and added some salt to it. But remember the dal already have salt, enough salt on it, right? When you add it on the dal, the salt, the saffron, the dal and the pimento, right? So I'm adding a little bit of salt here. Right, I'm adding some salt on, some black pepper. The black pepper here. I'm adding the salt on tropical. And I'm adding some maggi. Teaspoon of maggi, a teaspoon of salt on. Right, half teaspoon of black pepper. You know, with our water, I'm going to put water. You know, with our water, you can try to build the beef properly, right? Right, so you can cook up the rice. Cook up some normal brown rice. Wash. So this is a full strictly vegan meal. Strictly. Strictly vegan meal. I see one little spatch a little bit here. Let you guys patch up in the arm. Um, and the season on it, and then we would serve it. Alright, so we're back here. It's just about three minutes now. And about three minutes on it, and the rice matching. Any seasoning? The rice chicken. So you know what I made this food is nice rice because how the, the marini rice has remained, or it's already the okra rice and bad rice. Marini rice. Why you put a hole? Put it down. Uh -huh. Right, so remember we didn't chunk it, the dal, right? Watch, the dal didn't chunk it. You add any dal direct here now. Let's try and kill guys. Alright, so that, I, I left it down a little, I'm going to let it a little watery. So you go, let's look at still let it add water to cook the rice, right? Okay. So add a little bit of hot water here one time. Low heat, we take it time and cook properly. That's how you mix rice, and we're gonna start to see what tomato here. So, we have tomatoes already boiled. That's one hard mince it out there. I could use the scissors stick as well. Eh? And I don't skin all the tomatoes. You could take all the skin here, like if you like. If you prefer, you could take all the skin. I mention everything in there. Yeah. So it's a nice this look. And it mince up really easy. It's just like it's tomato cooker. That's we didn't roast it. So for the people who can't roast inside a house and then you can use the boil, right? The boilers work perfect. The meat is a little juicier. 
Sandy Rose, right? And we're gonna add now We are doing onions and pimento. So this is the next technique. I was good on rosy tomato. I said I'm show you the next technique we just use as well. Because we have a tomato choke already up. So I'll just show you the different ways you could do the tomato, right? There's a lot of different ways to prepare food. Right, to prepare food and cook food. We're going to try to show you all the different ways you can do it. But we are custom doing it. So guys, it's not one way we just cook all the time. We have little different techniques on it, right? Right, so I'm going to chunk it this now. Just going to chunk it. I'm going to put any pepper, let's put the pimento because why if you not eating too much pepper, why if you don't eat too much? Right, so I'm going to chunk it this here now. Tomato, yeah. All right, so I'll chunk of this and we will go. All right, so we're back here. Add the oil out in for, the, um, for the tomato choker. I'll just add in some garlic to get any kind of roasted garlic, the minced garlic I have here. Oh, the oil is over. And I'll see it if I don't want to mess up this one. Guy got to clean it. Yes, that's right. We got to clean it the other day. Oh, all right, guys. So this here. You gotta keep turning this regular because the problem with this, the rice just stick up fast to the bottom. You see? It's already started to stick. So keep turning it regular. Mm -hmm. Right? So it's looking. They're thoroughly steaming because it's steam. Steam. As right, you saw, the rice was sticking out already. So just keep turning it. Well, when it does pour up, the forgot. I forgot. I don't see flower cream, that's full of cream. Say hi. <laughs> she hiding. Shy. You're shy? Yeah. You're shy? Yeah. You're shy? Why are you shy? Because they running. Because they running? Yeah. Right, so you see more prop here I use? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I use oil. You see, you are adding doo-doo. You are adding chuchu to make sausage, so she know. So she... I want to add some water, but I'm a prop here now. <laughs> so I wait for my prop to use to chunk the um, tomato. When I chunk the tomato, just add salt to taste, right? Get your tomato choker. They can't really see uh, Coconut chutney, but we didn't get time to do the coconut chutney, so we're just doing this, right? Watch your hand break. Right, so we just, um, we didn't get time to do the coconut chutney. I saw um, Mr. Bo and Mr. Chandra send a picture of me. They make a shadow of any chutney. Mm. Like I say, coconut chutney, do you shadow any? You send me the picture with that? Uh, how long do you have coconut chutney for take to make? That'll take a while, because you have to roast it and uh -huh, uh -huh. scrape and it and... Oh, like what mama do for the doubles. doubles yes. Oh. Right, so this one here. We're going to chunk in this. Right. Maybe add some salt and you go to the center of me. Me? The salt depends on how much tomato you use. And remember guys, we put in the, the ingredients in the description below now. So you can get the ingredients, you know, that way we use, right? Okay, but we find it's a lecture so the added but you know by tomatoes. Why do not see what I saw? I said it. Point. This is enough. I can't believe it, so you can taste this much. Not so much. Yeah. Very good. Is it good? Yeah. Right, so... Very good, so much. You can tell me nothing. 
Okay, and some water back in this. Right, this water should be enough and add it too much because the water when it go down there. The rice still are grainy. So now add a lot of the water. Has steam but then we come see in the pot. Yeah, it's real hot to see that is why. So I can ask you, so that's gonna stick back already again. So let's keep to it regular. So the rice are getting like real soft? Not yeah, it only soft, not real soft, but when you look at it looking soft the bit is in the um it's always in the dollar, but you're feeling it kind of knocking up in the spoon. Oh, it's feeling grainy. So you feel it like grainy, yeah. Right, so let us go down a bit here. I'll leave the cover off now. I will keep turning it in between now. I give it three minutes, I'll just turn it. Until the water go down. And then we'll show the next process. So we do it from there. Alright, so we're here. See, come down a more now. Now when it's cool off, this whole thing going and pull down the side the pillow. And I was saying now, so you see a lot different mix up rice with the visual uh, split peas mix, mix up rice, which is a um, kit tree. We did that okra mix up rice, we did that baji mix up rice, cook up rice, I mean. A baji cook up rice, a split peas cook up rice, which is kit tree. Uh, um, okra cook up rice, and we did a pillow with chicken and pigeon peas. I got chicken, pigeon peas, cook up rice. That's the next one pillow, right? So we'll be added to this now. A little bit of ground jira. And one teaspoon of ground jira. Right, we add in a little piece of golden ray. A little piece of golden ray need a tablespoon here. That is our recipe for the kit tree. Guys, trust me, no lie, no mama guy. It's one of the best kit tree ready. So if you know you have your recipe for the kit tree, it cook way different than mine's. Let's try it, let's try it. You know, it will, um, it will hurt you to try it. Because I, you know a lot of the recipes I show you guys, the food on point. The food on point, it on point. I'm about adding the salt and all the sazon and margarine with the seasoning. So I don't think this will need any, any additional, any seasoning salt or salt, right? No coconut milk in this. The dal is the coconut milk, like, where you would put the coconut milk for the flavor, that is the dal coming for the flavor, right? So this now, what we'll do here, we're going to get the cultural. Same thing with chunk of the tomato sugar with. This after chunk here as well, right? So I'm going to put out, I'm going to get the cultural, put it up to hot. But the same thing with the roasted garlic and the oil. I'm going to start the hot, we'll throw it in. Right, what's on this looking now? Pull on real nice. Watch we have everything um the chunky, the oil and garlic. Alright. Chunky with the oil and garlic here. Mix it up good. Now it is it. I taste it wrong, I don't know. So I don't know if it have enough salt already. No, you taste it. You see? Oh, let's see, yeah? so don't this blame me. This one no meat, so them, them no. Them no, them no. <laughs> them no wifey, you fancy this. Yeah, I'm gonna taste it, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I feel so. I feel this. Don't burn me, eh? Huh? I don't give more a little bit. Yeah, I don't give more spoon good watch. Yeah, that's good. See what I'm saying? You good, yeah? Yeah. I'm blowing so much I blow it out, eh? Yeah, they didn't blow it, 100. I didn't mess nothing. I see. I'm not right. sold, you just wanted to burn my back. Right, that's it for this. What time it is? Eating time. I'm going to eat, guys. You stop still on? Yeah, I want to know if you get some. Alright yeah, guys, we're gonna eat here now. See what's going on here? Proper food. Let's go chill out. Lime pepper. And what should you do take from the lime pepper? So I said the lime only. 
Yeah. So the lime preserve itself and all? Yeah, me close. So the lime wasn't squeezed out with the lime pepper sauce? That is um, Randall, mom did that. I thought the orange juice. Kuchala. Kuchala and Dalai, I just say it's good just so. And that you all Follow some tomato chuka the side, eh? Yeah, we have a vlog for the coconut chutney, so you don't want to make it. Yeah, we have a vlog for the coconut chutney in the arm with the doubles. So you can check that if you want to see the recipe for that coconut chutney. It was made by your truly, Mama. Guys, this is my pasta sauce with Randall, Mom did. I get like a coat in it, like a cake, watch. So everything pulling, guys, watch. How much strength it has. Dal power. Dal power. <laughs> oh, pardon, that truck named Dal power, you know. Mm -hmm. Dal power. Mm -hmm. What's that line, Papa? Why she didn't? I just ring in with it, guys. <laughs> she didn't just. Like she just cut off everything like this raw. But any lime juice or soup. You're real good, eh? Hey boy. Watch out, Woods can't explain this, guys. This tastes real good. And the lime pepper sauce will really give it that kind of mm -hmm. nice tangy. Now I tell Philly we didn't have to make the coconut chutney because add the cochilla, add the lime pepper sauce. The lime pepper sauce, what about? The real flavor. The pepper will be under the juice. I just take the lime, I didn't take the um. I go, I go, I go, I go. I see, see that Kareli. <laughs> it's a moraine, it's a pepper. All the lime skin, everything, watch. The lime itself, this is good, guys. It will be sour. I think for the Polori video, I have her number if they want to um, order. Polori, yeah. Order the lime pepper sauce. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, now many Polori video. So, if you watch the Polori video. Now, guys, we are in the, the, the ingredients in the description. Right? Um, so you know what to use, what you have to get. To but you have to watch the vlog for the step by step recipe, right? So this is amazing. You don't have to eat the tomato, you don't have to eat the lime cochilla, you don't have to eat the, co um, the lime pepper, you don't have to eat the cochilla. If you let us mix up everything in one, yes? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So guys, the tree does taste nice and all. It tastes better when it's hot. When it gets cold, it pulls long warm and English is right, but it don't taste good cold to me. My opinion. So this is a full vegan menu. Full vegan, fully vegetarian. Vegetarian and vegan, it have no dairy in this. Nothing like that. Everything is from natural fruits and vegetables. Mango, the tomato, the mango from the cochilla, the tomato from the tomato for the tomato, chocolate, the onions, the lime pepper sauce was lime and karaili pepper. Cotton, it's in real good. Do I like lime pepper sauce? No. I pull for a bit. No, it's not a Korean. I'm looking at my pepper. It's in real flavor. The pepper is still very flavor. What is the sauce? No, very flavor. The sauce is not hot. Is it tangy flavor? Yeah, it's tangy. It tastes like the Korean flavor. Yeah. Oh God, we give me that. Trust me, it don't taste like Korean. Let's let's shave all the piece out tight. But take a spoon and cut it now. After everything, you might give me the curry. No, I'm telling you. This is not really curry, I'm telling you. I lie, I know lie, no mama guy. This one, but it's hot. Yeah, but it's curry. It's soaking a bit, so. Oh, give it a one. Hey, hold it back. It's really, it hot, all it hot. It's it, it, it kind of hot. Oh, there is 
Mm. Yeah. 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 Mm. To all our um, new subscribers, our from the start subscribers, <laughs> and our recent subscribers and viewers, wanna say hi, send our love to you all, your and your family, um, to everyone you know. If you don't have a family, they send love to you, all right? And, and the happiest family. Yeah, the happiest family. Yeah, yeah the happiest family. Guarantee, sure about that. And to the new subscribers, everybody can cook. Okay, that's me. The channel to lay that all because you know now everybody will say I ain't seen why if we knock in a pot. And we so have guys, vlogs of she cooking. Yeah, we have vlogs of she cooking. So we have about for the new people. We have about close to 110 videos up already, probably or past that. Serious? Yeah. Uh -huh. I didn't even check. So you have a lot of videos if you didn't know. I didn't. We have I didn't a lot of videos up, right? From Chinese cuisine to. Indian cuisine, the uh, Creole cuisine, listen. Creole food, Creole dishes. Um, you have a lot of, lot of recipes, guys, a lot. Appetizers, for meal. Appetizers and, no, and, um, and no, our channel is not on, it's a cooking channel. It's just <laughs> no, it's not a cooking channel. Long, that is why. So you kind of got in a way. You guys have to learn a lot of new recipes, how to do it. If it got a lot of recipes, they didn't know how to do So you learn how to do it, especially with the Chinese and all these things. All right, so. I have a girl um, from Dubai. She Susie Bell. Yeah, she requested him, Katie, make a macaroni pie for her. Mm. Actually, a couple of people asked him for macaroni pie. True. Mm -hmm. Well, all you know all you have to do. <laughs> no power gun. Yep. So, To try and keep doing our next vlog today again with you in the kitchen. You yeah, will see that the next day. Alright. Also, Ninja Man and Fram are making a dish too. <laughs> Shocking, eh, guys. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, so this evening, too, we don't have this evening day cooking that or you in the kitchen. So, right after this, we do our next vlog again. Right after. Right, so. Just trying to have about three, four inside. Alright, so that's it here for the split piece cook up rice or ketri or dal rice. However, you may call it. Our take on it. Our take on it. Our version on the, on the recipe. Right, guys, trust me. No lie, no mama guy. It's on point. And whoever said that, you know, thing, that I'm leaving it a little saucy. If I open that pot now and show you, it probably yeah, done kind no, of. You can show them any plate. I'm taking it off already. Yeah. I'm kicking off all already. I was supposed to be right. So, this is the end for the full vegan menu. A full vegan lunch. I got to chew down clean chip it once. Mm -hmm. Done. Well, all I throw it back on the side all yeah. Oh, you know why? It's going to take a little while. I don't need. Full vegan meal. <laughs> tomato choker, ketri, cochilla lime pepper sauce. Right? Until again. And if you throw some smoke too, turkey in this. I know it could be. Now that's it, this go go down nice with curry chicken. Mm -hmm. It go down nice with curry fish. Mm -hmm. It go down nice with curry goat or stew goat. Stew chicken as well because of rice and all. You know I have some fried fish in the fridge from Kitchu from yesterday. <laughs> this will go down a, 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 a good with a lot of things. So try the cooker rice. You know the cooker rice you don't like to tell you. Really good, right? So, I say just a special thank you to all of our viewers, our subscribers, our Trini Out and About family, which is the subscribers who subscribe. Saying a special hi to you. And don't forget to hit that like button. Yeah, don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And the people who, who, not, who didn't subscribe, you can subscribe too, man. You can subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. Just one no <laughs> And no, guys, you don't have to pay to subscribe. Yeah, the I subscribe is free. Right? So a lot of them are thinking you have to pay to subscribe, yeah? Sure. No, you don't have to. You have to pay, it's free. Yeah. You click the button, nothing will happen, you just subscribe. Alright? 
So, until again, next edition of Trinity Out and About. Not La Papa. Not.